There are a couple of big projects nearing completion on Oklahoma City's south side, including the renovation and reopening of the Crossroads Mall near the I-35 and I-240 interchange. Derisively dubbed the Zombie Mall after it closed in 2017, there are now ambitious plans to bring it back to life. Taylor Jackson joins us now with the details. Taylor. Rich, many Oklahomans like myself remember when Crossroads Mall was filled with stores and plenty of shoppers. Many were sad to see it close, but current owner Stephen Lynn is confident his new concept for the mall is just what the South Side needs. Stephen Lynn, CEO of Crossroads Plaza LLC, purchased the Crossroads property for $6.5 million with a plan to open an Asian food market. He says Oklahoma was the perfect place to realize his vision. First time I come to Oklahoma City, I like here warm because I, I get a little old, so I like a warm area and nice people. And then we are, I'm in the USA, the American to the restaurant, the business owner, and then the supermarket. So I want to bring uh, some traditional Asian restaurant here. Since then, Lynn brought in a new business partner, Carrie Lawrence, CEO of Crossroads Convention Center, LLC, to assist with expansion plans. I really would like to have this be a place where it's not really just about retail, but we actually can create these experience businesses, uh, locate, find these companies, have them move in here, have them come in and help make something great. And so that's what we're doing. I mean, they're still doing their, uh, they've now going to do their aging uh, supermarket. Uh, they're going to have their restaurants that they'll have in their area. She says the new concept for Crossroads won't be a traditional mall. And I think that's what I'm excited about is that we're bringing something to the forefront in Oklahoma that we haven't had before um, and the individuals that are able to finance this. It's, it's a great, great deal for Oklahomans for sure. Lawrence and her team are converting all three floors of what used to be Dillard's into a convention center. It's 90,000 square feet on each floor and there's three floors. Um, and so we're, we're going to start on the first floor. This will be for like concerts, large conventions, training, seminars. Um, you can rent it on a half or a whole situation. Um, we have a smaller area that can be rented as well. Um, but really looking for businesses that want to come in, invest some money and make this like a really cool place for the, for the family so you can come and spend the whole day and just do a whole bunch of different things. The original plan for the former dealers was to house a large medical marijuana grow operation. However, Oklahoma law prohibits dispensaries from being within 1,000 feet from schools and a part of the property was already home to Santa Fe South Schools. And then the city went and made changes to the law where they weren't able to because it was attached to the school, which were never in place before. So now they have this huge piece of property. They spent a lot of money to purchase, spent a lot of money to start renovating and they weren't able to do their grow. So the gentleman who had the antique mall approached me and said, hey, you guys were here before. If anybody's going to help pull this off and make this happen, I think it would be you. You should meet the owners. This is the second attempt to rejuvenate the mall since it closed in 2009 due to foreclosure. In 2013, Raptors Property bought the mall for $3.5 million, and in April 2013, Plaza Mayor at Crossroads opened. But the mall closed again in 2017. Oklahoma County Commissioner Brian Mond says at one time, Crossroads had a significant impact on Oklahoma City's economy. You know, a lot of people forget that at one time it was the single largest contributor of sales tax to all of the Oklahoma City general fund base. And so that may have included some of the anchor campus locations surrounding it, but it was nevertheless an economic metropolis for Oklahoma City. And so the fact that it you know, went down over the years was a huge impact for all of Oklahoma City, but particularly for job opportunities for South Oklahoma City. He says revitalization in the area will create jobs for those who live in South Oklahoma City. And it's naturally named for being right at the crossroads of America. So a lot of tourism opportunity coming through here and an opportunity to really increase our sales tax base for Oklahoma City and provide job opportunities for people in South Oklahoma City to not have to go very far. About 20 years ago this time of year, this parking lot was filled with cars of shoppers looking for their last minute Christmas gifts. Come 2023, this parking lot will be the new home of the Oklahoma City Wranglers. This November, the United Football League announced a 20 year agreement with Crossroads Mall to build a 10,000 seat stadium on site. This is not a, a short term kick in the pan, uh, in and out type of, type of deal. We plan to really build invest into the community 
And we hope, we hope that investment in the community returns in terms of uh, the community investing in us in terms of support. But with the UFL season quickly approaching, a temporary 8,400 seat stadium will be built first. According to the UFL, it will cost about a million dollars to build and then later remove the facility. Mon says bringing in the Wranglers will give young athletes on the south side of Oklahoma City another avenue to play big time football without leaving the state. The largest high schools uh, in Oklahoma City are in South Oklahoma City, and so I think them having an opportunity to look at something for a future sports opportunity without it necessarily having to involve, you know, going outside of this metro area, uh, even to Norman and to Stillwater, if you're just looking at the college opportunities. Crossroads is set to open in 2023, and Sooner fans will be pleased to hear that the new head coach for the Oklahoma City Wranglers is former Sooner J.D. Runnels.